с тайното. Тайното историята. I think you just snap it in place. Ah, okay. I understand. So all aligned here and here. Snapped, ready to go in. Click. And it's done. Now it's a... There might be a clearance problem and I hope I don't have to remove this because it looks like it's going to be difficult to remove. But otherwise, clicked in place. Not going anywhere. It's really physically locked in. So I'll install it in the computer now and see how, how it fits. The SSD now is installed in the case and it was pretty easy to install it. I think I put it really pretty much in the center as much as I could, but it really snapped in place. It's covering both the underside of the SSD and the top. It's physically heavy. And that's the... That's the Arctic M2 Pro. And actually this one, see, it looks very similar. Let's see now. Yep. It looks really good. There's no storage, no. Perfect. It looks really good. There is no clearance problem. So that's pretty good so far. We'll see about cooling. It's gonna be better. Anything will be better than without it. The NVMe is installed back with the Arctic cooler, so it looks really good. I'm really happy how it looks like. I didn't see, I'm really happy how it looks like. I didn't see any problem with clearance. Time to throw the graphics card back in and hope there is no problem for clearance. So the graphics card goes on the right side there. Perfect, no problem. And don't forget this part. Okay, time to start it. See how it goes. Sounds okay, starting all good, no shorts. Most important is to have the white light. White light is the GPU connector, so that means it's all good. One NVMe drive is there, the system NVMe drive is there, and the second one, the T500, is under the GPU. But it did fit, so seems okay. Let's, I will do a few tests on the computer to check the temperature and the speed of the Crucial T500 Pro compared to the 5 Blood Air. The most important test here for me is the Crucial T500 without the heatsink. Temperature checks and the speed test, and with the heatsink to see how much of a difference there is. I'm sure there's a difference, but I didn't remove any stickers. This is just the simplest way. It's very easy to do, and the thing is really cheap. Thanks for watching. This is much better to buy the NVMe with the heatsink, but if you can't find it with the heatsink, you could try to do it like this. Thanks for watching, and watch the next video.